Um, many people have contacted us about the Great Pyramid because we have done the most extensive study, seamless, plausible um, construction theory ever put together. All the materials are there, all the tools are there, everything to do it today is there, including the technology and the people. We don't even need any extra people. It can be done. It just hasn't been done because we've sent the wrong people out there to study it. Here's the funny thing. We look at a huge pile of rock. Conventional man thinks it was all put there in a day. We don't stop and think that the structure was built over time. They did not build it in a day. Rome was not built in a day and the pyramid was not built in a day what we found, we have documented and copyrighted this, and we released it to the world for free, what we call lift shifts. Conventional wisdom would have us to think that the stones in the pyramid are large to small, all the way to the top. What we actually found is they're large to small, large to small, large to small. We have termed this lift shift because there's a sequence, and we reveal this for free. We give it away to anyone in the world that wants to go to SolomonSeries.com, download, the drawings, download, I mean, it's all free. It's easy. We demonstrate that it goes large to small, large to small, large to small. There are 30 lift shifts in the Great Pyramid. It means it goes large to small, shift, large to small, shift, large to small, shift. And what that represents from a realistic, simple, analytic perspective, the only accurate one you'll find is at our website, SolomonSeries.com. It took 30 years to build the structure. Let me explain why. If you brought, this is the largest rock structure in the world for many, many years, maybe still, meaning it was the largest cargo mobilization project in the world, maybe still. If you brought all that stone to the location at one point in time, from wherever you think it came from, it doesn't matter, if you brought it all there, you would shut the project in because it, you could not move. People, manpower, equipment, nothing. Here's what they did. They amassed an inventory on the plateau. The Giza structure is a plateau. They amassed rocks on the plateau. And we have reason to believe that they said, look, when you fellas put all these rocks up on that pile, you can go home. The motivation was finish up and go home just like at your job, finish up on Friday and you can get out of here when you're done. What they did is they ordered all the rocks they had gathered, large to small. They started with the large ones. When they got to the small ones, they said, we're out of here, and they went home. Meanwhile, the quarrying effort continued and they brought rocks in. What, this was not a continuous build project. It was a seasonal build project and there were specialists who did their seasonal chores. So what they did is they went large to small, stacked them up there. Then next year they came back large to small, and then they said, well, we got to figure out how to get these up there. Large to small, we got to figure out. They didn't always have the answer. You want to think they're supernatural and all, but if it took them three months to pile up the rock, then the engineers needed nine months to figure out how to get the next level up that high. And what we show you is a repetitive mechanical device built throughout the structure. It's found at every level, seamless, continuous. Go to our website, check it out. But what you'll find is there's 30 lift shifts in the structure. 480 feet divided by 30 is 16 feet. They only built 16 feet a year. So you guys want to get mystic, you want to get totally enamored by a great big pile of rock, they only built about 16 feet of it annually. Once you break it down into that, you realize they did not move that much rock. It was not so supernatural. It was not so inhuman. It's a very simple, methodical process because they were in the desert and they had plenty of time. They were actually building their way to something else. And in 30 years, they made it up there. What you will find unique is, is each shift is about 16 feet apart. Go to get the download which demonstrates that at the lower levels, they brought more rock because the parent structure is bigger, and at the higher levels, they just covered about the same vertical lift. The reason being, they actually had fewer rocks to move, but they had higher, farther to move them, and it was a little more complicated mobilization project. So the, mo the, the inventory of rocks year on year was smaller each year after, each successive year, and they went up 
a, a set distance, and then they went home. Very well organized, very well engineered. Go check it out. We show you how they did all this at SolomonSeries.com. Show you how to move horizontal, vertical, get it done, and we, we, we demonstrate the fallacies in many of the old theories. Go to SolomonSeries.com. So I encourage people to comment on the videos now, and, and uh, I leave even the call, I leave all comments up, leave them all posted because people have a right to be heard. I hope that people will at least watch two or three videos so they get really good comments.